Hello, and welcome to Five for Friday for this Friday, December 16th. This will be the last Five for Friday for 2022. Join me again in 2023 when we'll pick things up again the first Friday in January. This edition includes some special holiday gift ideas at the end in story number five, so be sure to stick around until the end of the video. And here we go with our five topics for this Friday. We'll start with topic number one, which is, sad to say, part four of the SBF cryptocurrency saga. We thought it was over when I didn't mention it last week. Sorry, it may never be over. But the big news this week is that SBF was arrested in the Bahamas for a series of fraud charges. He's not the only tech bro being charged with fraud this week. A group of social media influencers were also charged with fraud in a $100 million stock manipulation scheme using social media to influence their followers' purchases in the stock market. And SPF is not the only cryptocurrency story this week either. The Texas Blockchain Council is trying to convince the state of Texas that their energy-sucking Bitcoin mining will be good for the power issues faced in Texas. Their logic is a bit convoluted. Not sure I agree with any of it, but we'll see if they succeed. And I'm sure we'll be hearing more about crypto, Bitcoin mining, and our friend SBF in the new year. All right, moving onward to story number two, the workplace of the future, which for some reason always has me thinking of Conan O'Brien's old futuristic bit on what might happen in the year 2000, which he started back like in 1996 or 97. Anyway, some things seem to be ready for... Some things to be ready for in this pretty futuristic workplace include learning new slang and new forms of communication as your business fills up with those Gen Zers who have created their own words and prefer Snapchat and TikTok over text messages and Google. Also, remote work will just cause companies to hire people in geographic locations where they can pay less and you can still meet your peers remotely through virtual reality. Finally, some predictions for 2023 workplace trends include expanded benefits, global remote workforces, hybrid work policies, and more part-time positions. Stay tuned to see if these predictions from Inc. come to fruition. All right, moving on to story number three, energy. More specifically, the Energy Department announced a huge breakthrough in nuclear fusion. The concepts behind this have been researched for years, but this week was the first time that the lab was able to witness a net energy gain, meaning that more energy came out of the process than went into it. If we get this figured out, we should eventually have access to unlimited energy and no need to have this oil and gas versus solar and wind argument. But don't expect any real progress on this for another 10 years or so. All right, moving on to story number four, space news. Good news is that the Orion spacecraft that traveled to the moon was able to arrive back to Earth successfully this Sunday. The next phase of this mission involves a manned mission to the moon. And our U.S. Space Force is focused on space-based satellites to monitor activity in North Korea, China, and Russia from its new South Korea location. Also, China is busy making huge progress with its own space program, which is expected to surpass ours by the year 2045, which is coming up faster than you think. Uh, finally, some innovations coming to Earth from NASA include a battery developed for space travel that could replace the less desirable lithium-ion batteries, and some new 3D printing technology that will let astronauts 3D print landing pads on the moon. That could have some uses here as well. And now let's move on to our final story, story number five, holiday shopping. Lots going on here since we're well into prime shopping season. Some sad news for those of you who remember looking over the toy collection in the giant Sears catalog, Sears hometown stores, all that's left of that business, has filed for bankruptcy. And if you plan to buy a car for your loved one this Christmas, Make sure the dealer can get his or her hands on a new rarity, the special paper used to print car titles, which is in short supply right now. Uh, also, if you're cooking or baking for the holiday, save some money by buying store brands rather than name brands. There's been a huge surge in this as inflation has increased prices at the grocery store. In other stories, beware of fake Amazon reviews, which might cause you to buy shoddy products made by low-cost Chinese sellers. The worst offender, slippers, where over 70% of reviews are fake. Uh, maybe by next year, you'll be making purchases using the new Amazon app that mimics the short form videos of TikTok. We'll see. Looking for some gift ideas? Your Gen Z kids might like digital gifts that match their IRL gifts. Um, so if you've got cool sunglasses at in real life, then you can get digital sunglasses to match so your avatar can look just like you. 
Also, if you plan a trip as a gift for family, be aware that many of the fees that the National Park Service charges are just pure profit for military contractor Booz Allen, kind of like the Ticketmaster hidden fees fiasco. Look into that one. And maybe you're considering a holiday party for your employees? Well, check out billionaire Ken Griffin and his firm Citadel. He treated employees and their families, about 10,000 people, to an all-inclusive weekend in Disney, including a concert by Coldplay. Try to top that. Finally, in holiday shopping news, act fast if you want to get your hands on the greatest gift of the season, NFTs of Donald Trump and a variety of superhero costumes. I'll just leave that one alone and let you check it out yourself. Finally, still looking at our weekly recession yes or no, which I may just put an end to altogether as we move into 2023. Two positive stories, two negative ones. No one can decide if or when we might have a re recession. Just be prepared for some kind of impact, but don't be too pessimistic. That's the best advice I have after following this for much of 2022. All right, thanks for sticking with me through this whole video. This is the last one for 2022, but please join me and invite your friends to do the same when we pick things back up in January. I hope you have a great holiday season and a happy new year, and thanks for watching.